my voice is quivering and tears are dropping down my eyes and it's because of the story. I, I want to thank Steve for really projecting this out to the public. I hope this film, video, makes it out to a bigger audience than tonight. A couple of years ago, um, I and my grandson uh, were sitting outside on the ocean side of my house. And it was a high tide. And the waves keep on coming in, coming in over, over the reef. And then finally, uh, my grandson spoke up and he said, hey, Grandpa, don't you think we ought to move? The, the waves are really coming in on shore. And, they were coming close to my porch. And I said, well, where should we move? We have no place to move. We have no higher ground. So that was when he was, I think it was, he was uh, in third grade. And so uh, last year, I came to the cop in Egypt. And uh, I passed through Anululu visit with him and his parents. And so he asked me, he's a very inquisitive young man. He liked to talk. So he asked me, well, Grandpa, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to the climate <clears throat> meetings in Egypt. Will that mean that if you go there, that uh, it's going to solve the problem in, in the Marshall Islands, in our home? I said, well, you know, it may not solve it now. The thing is, we have to work towards a solution. And it, it may not come in my generation, but those that come after us, maybe you. Because for the Marshall Islands, 1.5 is to give us a life. Anything above that has, has been depicted in the, uh, in the video, affects the country as a whole. Because the Marshall Islands are, it's not just one whole island, it's a combination of many different atolls and islands spread out over one million square miles of the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. Which islands do you save? And which islands you have to let go? The Republic of the Marshall Islands, as you know, it's a very small country, but we're very ambitious. We were leaders in our NDC in 2018. And here at the COP28, we'll be publishing our first national adaptation plan. That plan calls, that will chart, that plan will chart our course for how we will respond as we face raising sea levels, changing weather patterns, and as we lose islands and our homes and health are put at risk by emissions of others. You know, when the Israelis were set in the desert for 40 years, at least they were able to finally locate a place where they could call home. For us, if you lose an island, you'll be drifting in the ocean for the rest of your life. And I want to thank you again, Stephen, and thank you for your team, and God bless you all. Thank you.